part one of the video was the long F branch that's done and installed and moving on to the short F. It's the bottom portion. Um, I'll show you that one as well. And uh, it's actually been a few days since I started the, the short F branch. I just have a lot of these blue shirts, so that's why it looks like I've been wearing the same shirt for a week, which I've not, I promise. So here, let's take a look. So here we are, we're looking at the back of the horn again, and the lower portion of the F branch is this part right here. Uh, what you'll notice is we've got good opportunity here to make contact between this branch and the bell tail and also between this branch and the branch underneath it, the first branch. But in order to do that we've got to bend a really really accurate part. So luckily we've done that here already. Um, this is not any less complicated actually than the uh, long F that we did in the last video. A lot of times people assume this is the difficult one, but um, this lower portion has just as many challenges. Um, you could see that, you know, it might look like a less complicated part, but it's really actually not. Um, there's a lot of angles to plan for. Uh, and the additional sort of uh, challenge is we have to be able to put a straight edge on these tuning slide pairs and make sure that they're all in the same plane going across. So I'm going to tighten in on, on these two joints and I'll show you um, uh, the, the porting. Alright, so the first check is going to be a ferrule check like we did on the upper portion of the F branch. This ferrule is on here but it's not soldered and I've got everything laid out and I'm just going to slide this ferrule away from the branch and I'm going to look and check and as you, you can see there that it's a perfectly square nice and flush there's no gaps so I'm just going to slide that back over and I know now when I solder this ferrule in that there won't be any motion pulling on the branch in any direction Okay, so for the second check here, what I'm going to do is, just like before, I'm going to hold the branch in place. I'm just going to slide the tuning slide over and make sure that I don't feel any drag and that the branch doesn't move or flex or anything as I slide this over top. And there it is, sliding perfectly. So. We're ready to uh, solder in this branch. I'm going to do it the same way. I'll probably do it in, in three different stages with a check uh, of this after each one just to make sure that this angle doesn't move at all. All right, so I've just soldered uh, this joint here and this joint here. And I'm going to show you how This part has moved, so now when I pull this off, you'll see, I don't know if you can hear the ding, ping, so it is just, see it wants to move a little bit, it's, it's pushed in a little bit this way. So I'm going to have to take care of that before I solder this on, and I'll do that basically by stress relieving this portion down here because this has a tendency to curl. So other part I'll check is these joints are soldered tight but I'm going to just check and make sure that this joint is still nice and flush and it is great. So I'm going to go ahead and solder that and then stress relieve the upper portion of this branch up here. All right, so soldering is done, and I'm going to do one final check. Make sure this just slides on like it did before I started soldering. There it is. I've got perfect line across here. So I'm going to solder on this tube here and then we'll be ready to go. 
Makers hate being called assemblers, especially those of us that make a high percentage of our own parts and our own tools. But don't forget that assembly is a really big component of horn construction and you can't ignore it. And it doesn't matter how good of a part you make or how good of a part you buy, if you can't install it properly, uh, it's not going to do you any good. So here was the F branch, uh, moving to the lead pipe next week, but um, hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you for the playtesting.